Let me tell you today what I would like to see from a Nintendo Direct because we have been in the longest drought for a general Nintendo Direct. I mean, yes, you've had a Animal Crossing Direct. Yes, you've had a Sakurai, a, a disappointing Sakurai Presents. <laughs> I like Byleth. I really do. I like Three Houses, but it's still disappointing. So it is what it is. And I know it's not Sakurai's fault. It was Nintendo's fault because Nintendo got a Nintendo got to do that advertising. But anyways, uh, <laughs> we had a Pokemon Direct. So, you know, the DLC, you know, yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are excited about that. I think it's pretty cool, but I know that Pokemon decided to, uh, or the Pokemon company decided to hold some stuff back from the base game so they could sell it to you post game. Because let's be honest, if you release the game in November and you have DLC, consider how long it takes to make a brand new location and add new Pokemon or whatever. Yeah, you purposely held some stuff back. You're not going to be able to make that from start to finish in like six to seven months. Like that just seems like horse crap. But you know, you're not here to listen about that. Let's talk about the actual stuff that I would like to see from Nintendo Direct. Now, first and foremost, another Nintendo Direct, since Nintendo seems to have completely forgotten how to just straight up direct. Another Smash character, considering the fact that you've got six slots this time, shout out to Sakurai for that. Wish it was seven, cause I'm greedy, but I appreciate it more cause it's more than five. You need to come out the gate swinging with a Geno. You're probably not going to. You can you can make money regardless. Geno is not going to make or break you, but it feels people probably feel duped by the fight because some people just bought the fighter pa fighters pass outright because you know you save that money if you get the fighters pass. And considering the fact that the last thing was Byleth, yeah, that's gonna leave some sour tastes in people's mouths. So they're not going to buy the fighters pass directly. Like I'm pretty sure there's people sitting on the sideline. There's pretty many people that are gonna buy it regardless just because they want the full game, but. I'm pretty sure there's a good amount of people a Nintendo again will be fine regardless of whatever people do but there's probably a good chunk of people out there who are not going to buy the the next fighters pass until they see like the first character or something because Byleth again while fun to me has left a pretty bad taste in a lot of people's mouths I would suggest Nintendo who's probably going to Nintendo regardless is to come out the gate swinging come out with Geno come out with Geno or come out with Sora or come out with Master Chief or it's just something just like godlike like that like just imagine if they and I don't even like Sora but I understand the I uh, you know I love his move set but I'm not a fan of Sora so it kind of sucks but imagine coming out the gate with something strong like that or hell even to a certain degree like Travis or some Travis touchdown he's more niche so I didn't mention him initially but come out the gate swinging so people be like Oh man, I gotta get this fighters pass, man. This is gonna be lit. Like, if people still use the word lit, uh, <laughs> that's what I would recommend doing. But you know, Nintendo got a Nintendo, so it's probably not gonna happen. It would be awesome though. Although Gino would probably be more of like an E3 kind of thing, like Banjo was. But just to instill confidence and get more people to actually buy the fighters pass, I would come out with Gino. Just come out, just just throw caution because it's going to spread like wildfire regardless it may spread like even wilder wildfire from a thing like e3 but considering the lull of gaming news that happens in the early year that means nintendo has plenty of space to let gino spread wings and uh how am i so confident about gino well who knows that's my answer to that who knows but nintendo it's up to you moving on I want to see Pikmin, man. I haven't seen Pikmin get any kind of shine for the longest time. It's it's not even fair. Kind of hurts my feelings a lot. I would love to see like a port of Pikmin 3 or just flat out a new Pikmin game. Like Miyamoto has hinted at, or at least has talked about like another Pikmin game coming. I think I mentioned like, it, like it's, it's being worked on, but dude, Pikmin has been radio silent, at least with uh, <laughs> at least with metroid prime 4 we've got the after effects you know like the little metroid prime 4 title you got that and then nintendo came out and said hey guys we blew it man we gotta work on this we gotta start over from scratch so at least there's some updates on that but we hadn't gotten anything on pigment 4 also speaking on the metroid prime thing yeah definitely i think it's i think it's time guys i think it's time we all know you've been sitting on that metroid prime trilogy for the longest time 
and you just can't don't wait forever to finally uh, get us acclimated to Metroid Prime like I would if I was Nintendo I would release Metroid Prime Trilogy now get people acclimated with the story so far because as long as they've taken to get out a four people are gonna be like man what was, what was this story about again i don't know what the fuck this is about dude was it about a bird i mean she's hot i mean i remember that much and then there's like monster alien stuff but i can't remember what this is about what was this about what was i thinking anyways <laughs> people are not gonna remember exactly what the story is about so i would release it now metro prime trilogy this will give number one it'll give trilogy time to spread its wings get a full like just run the sales cycle and then like prime four could come out either next year or the year after that and it'd be completely fine it'll still be fresh in people's heads for the most part compared to like other sequels i that's how i would do it and not only i feel because i feel like if you release them too close to each other because they may release it next year i have no idea it's, it's too close. Like people have a certain, like a finite amount of disposable income and you trying to hit them like back to back with the game. It's like, all right, that's a little too fast, man. Y'all need to slow down. But we know we've been, they've been sitting on it. It's, it's about time to go ahead and release this game. Next thing I'd like to, I, I'd like some, I like some news on that one. I mean, it probably won't mean anything. But that whole picture thing that Nintendo posted with Mario sitting on a beach and they were talking about sunshine, it really alluded to like a sunshine remake or something. That'd be pretty awesome. I would do that if I was Nintendo. I mean, they've done it before. I don't see why they would, you know, they wouldn't do it again. They definitely do it for Zelda. They seem to be kind of hesitant on doing it with Mario other than like the new Super Mario Brothers thing. That'd be really awesome. I crave crave Mario Sunshine portably. I crave it really bad. It's not the most favorite 3D Mario game. Like it has its fair share of criticism, but I really love that game. I, I have fond memories of just sitting on the floor. Matter of fact, I got that game at Christmas when it came out. I think it came out, I don't know. But anyways, still remember sitting on the floor, uh, booting up my Nintendo GameCube for the first time. Like, oh my God, I was like, man, I can't wait to play this game. And it was a blast. It was hard. Like a lot of stuff, it was really hard. But man, I really crave like another Mario Sunshine. Nothing came of that picture, by the way, of course. But really think that'd be a great stopgap between uh, like, a, like a Mario Odyssey 2 or something like that. I easily see there being like literally a, like not a new Mario Odyssey, like Mario title, but I easily see there being it kind of like Mario Galaxy 2. I feel like this, the way that it, that Mario Odyssey went, it easily feels like there's room for a Mario Odyssey 2. Like, so there's a ton of different locations that you could cite around the globe to add to it, maybe add like a uh, Thailand. I mean, like leave your jokes at the door, by the way, people. <coughs> Talking too long again. Gotta get them done though. Like a Thailand Mario, I think that would be really cool. A South American Mario would actually be pretty dope. Um, <laughs> not a communist revolution Mario, but uh, I think that'd be fun. A Savannah Mario, like a Mario, like African themed, kind of like the African themed level that you have in Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. That would actually be that would actually be pretty neat. I would be completely, completely down with that. So there's plenty of different like locations and locales that you could do for a sequel. And I would love for them to do that. But for right now, stopgap Mario Sunshine HD. Give me that. Love to have some Breath of the Wild 2 sequel news. I really want that. Even if it's just like another general trailer. That would, whoo boy. You would uh you have a hold on my heart if you did that Nintendo. I know it's coming at some point, man, but God, dude, I really, because a lot, I mean, because it's been, a, it's when well, no, I hadn't been a year, but it's been a fairly long time since we've had any news other than that one trailer. It's been a long time. And the, considering the fact that you have the engine in place already, it really shouldn't take as long as making a brand new engine to get this game out. So bare minimum, just give us another trailer, man. We we kind of, we fiending for it. As Zelda fans, we fiending for it really bad. I would also like to see some, some third-party stuff happen this time around. Uh, 
I would like to see, like, I know Bully was trending on Twitter. And I really, at first I wanted like a Bully port. But man, if we could do a, like a, a Bully 2 and like Bully 1 for like the eShop or something like that from Rockstar, that would be great. Because man, Rockstar, y'all, other than LA Noir, they, like that's it. That's really it that they've done for Switch support. And I assume that they did pretty well with LA. I have LA Noir. So I don't see why you don't just hit the switch, man. I know y'all got more money than, you know, you know what to do with thanks to Grand Theft Auto. But come on, man, y'all got to give the switch some more love, dude. I, I know you have. I know <laughs> at some point enough money is enough money. But come on, dude, this is you know, putting Rockstar games on the switch is just it's a layup at this point. Yeah, you may have to downgrade some stuff so you can get it portable because it's kind of it's insane to have such like highly detailed games or at least like yeah, highly but or at least massive games compressed to where you can make them portable but yeah if they can add the witcher 3 and uh, oh outer worlds and stuff like that and doom and doom eternal to the switch then rockstar you have no excuse grand theft auto 6 whenever that comes out that should be made for the switch or even port 5 over whatever but you really should do more for the switch at this point like EA, I don't care if they do it or not. They can go suck a fat one. Activision, same thing. But even Activision is doing more for the Switch than Rockstar is. And that's really, I gotta say, that's really disappointing. So definitely like to see some more third party stuff like that. Donkey Kong needs another game. I'm just throwing that in there while I remember it. And uh, yeah, Donkey Kong needs another game. Long overdue. Also, bring back King K. Rule. I mean, he's been added to Smash, man. Come on, man. The, the, the little penguins were fun. They were cool and all. Whatever. But dude, we need the Kremlings back, man. We need the Kremlings back. I need the Kremlings back. They're so fun. They're so fun. They have to come back. Please, Nintendo, give us the Kremlings back. I miss them boys. I miss them fools. Anyways, Kingdom Hearts Collection. I'm not even asking for three at this point. I just want the collection over. Again, I, I don't like Sora, but, and the, the story is painfully convoluted and stupid, but I, I like the game. It's, it's fun. Third party support, some big titles. Would love to see a surprise like near Automata make its way over probably won't i'm sure but hey it is what it is i'd also see like to see some of the old games that were announced i like to see like more of them hey, even though we've got a decent amount of no more heroes trailer stuff i would love to see some more from no more heroes i'd love to see like another platinum games title be announced but i'd understand if i don't uh i'd like to see there's like a nippon game or something that looked kind of interesting that was announced a while back and it's been radio silent ever since then shin Megami tensei should good lord man what is the deal with that that game was announced in the very beginning during the launch and we haven't heard a hair like not a peep like they keep saying yeah the game is where the, the the developing is going just fine it's going just fine it's just show something already jesus dude well i mean i guess you know it's just like anything it's ready when it's ready a a delayed game is eventually good yeah it was that, i think that's how that miyamoto quote went so i can't necessarily knock them but at the very least we would like some actual like some kind of just put together a trailer man i don't think that's too hard this game has been cooking for easily over three years at this point because that's when it was announced so ain't no telling how long they've been working on it like just in general unless they just happened to start and they started with that trailer i don't know but anyway speaking of shimigami tensei persona i mean yeah you have the japanese demo for for a scramble but i really would like to see more and i would love to see a surprise like hey we're porting over persona 5 here you go like the actual persona 5 and it's the royal edition look at that because they could easily run it the switch can easily run persona like don't even give me that nonsense that needs to happen. You're hurting my feelings, uh, Sega. You, you need to stop it. I'd also would like to see, no, nothing like Sonic Forces, but I'd also like to see like another Sonic title. I would preferably like the Sonic Mania team to work on it because no offense, uh, Sega, but they seem to be the only ones that know how to make a good Sonic game at this point. Take that for what you will. 
But anyways, this has ran on long enough. There's some other stuff I really like to see at a direct, but yeah, definitely another Smash character reveal feels like that's going to be a given. If they even still do directs, they've removed it off the website at the time of this recording, so I don't even know what the hell that's about. But anyways, what do you think? What do you think should be revealed at the next direct, next direct if they even still do them? What would you be looking forward to? Feel free to let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, do all the other doodly do stuff. I have a Patreon. Tier start is always like a dollar a month. As always, I greatly appreciate it if you would check it out and see if uh, you would like to support the channel. That would actually be pretty great for me. But, you know, it's fine if you know. Not everybody has disposable money, and it is what it is. But if you want to still support me and you don't want to do it through that means, hey, that's completely fine. I do have a clothing store, ThreadiverseApparel.com or just Threadiverse.com. Some amazing tees, graphic tees, hoodies, uh, tank tops in there. Feel free to check it out. You know, window shopping is free. So at the very minimum, you may see something that you like in there. You'd be like, man, I got to get this at some point. So feel free to check that out. And with that said, I am done. Goodbye. But seriously. Thanks for showing up. Y'all the real MVP, especially to you that made it to the end of the video. Bye bye.